Well, exercise improves sense of well-being, lowers high blood pressure. Best, it's the best way to lose weight together with diet, prevents heart disease, improves sexual performance, improves self-image, is on style, and increases life expectancy and quality of life. And we could go on finding more and more uh, advantages of exercise. But uh, can it prevent prostate cancer? Can it improve cancer treatment outcome? Can it prevent or reduce cancer treatment side effects? Can it improve survival? What's the mechanism of action and how much is enough or necessary? Well, uh, there are many studies. This is probably uh, one of the oldest uh, literature reviews with 17 studies. And nine of them showed a decrease of prostate cancer risk Nevertheless, there were five non-conclusive and three showed even an increase of risk with uh, exercise. But they concluded that they recommend exercise due to potential benefit. Then there is, uh, there is another panel uh, that uh, analyzed the effect of exercise, not only in prostate cancer, but in other cancers, and they found that there is convincing evidence that exercise decreases colon cancer risk probable for breast cancer and possible for prostate cancer. Here you can see the different type of, uh, of studies, uh, retrospective uh, case control, but all of them showed a certain benefit of exercise. This is another uh, review where they analyzed 15 uh, risk reduction uh, um, in, in 15 studies, they, they found statistically significant re reduction in, in cancer risk in eight, and, and the reduction was between 10 and 30 percent of the, of the cases, in some cases up to 50 percent. Some of them, they showed no, no, uh, no association, and seven of nine, out of nine showed a decreased risk with increasing activity. In this other study, they recommend 30 to 45 minutes, with moderate to intense risk, most days of the week, about five days, five, five days a week. In this meta-analysis, with 88,294 cases out of uh, 19 and 24 eligible court studies and case control studies, as you can see here, it, uh, regardless of the type of, of study, in all of them, there is a fa they favor exercise re in, the, in the probability of decreasing the risk of, of, of prostate cancer. It, they conclude that men should be encouraged to increase their physical activity in both occupational and recreational time to improve their overall health and potentially decrease uh, their risk of prostate cancer. Now the next question, can it improve uh, cancer treatment outcome? Well, here you can see three studies, all of them, uh, especially the first one, it showed a decreased disease progression, uh, biochemical relapse, secondary treatments, metastasis of prostate cancer, and it, there are all the other studies, they showed an all-cause mortality three benefit in men doing some kind of exercise. There's a, there are different criteria for talking about how much exercise is necessary, as we will see later, later on in another. In, in very recently, last year, Dr. Jun Chuan showed, presented an ongoing study of lifestyle modification with patients on, on active surveillance. This is a randomized controlled trial of 16 weeks aerobic exercise. This is a study that started in 2016 and it will be completed in 2025. It sounds very interesting. As, a, as, a, as, a, as far as I know, they are still occurring uh, uh, patients, but that's going to be especially interesting now that uh, active surveillance is being more popular. Can it prevent or reduce cancer treatment side effects? Well, in relation of, uh, regarding prostate, radical prostatectomy, there are eight trials showed that pelvic floor muscle training provided a benefit in preventing incontinence, but eight other trials didn't. Neither pelvic floor strengthening techniques nor aerobic exercise has shown a benefit in improving erectile dysfunction after prostatectomy. But increased priority physical activity levels have been associated with better quality of life after surgery. 
Regarding radiotherapy, there is this study where they divided three, 33 control patients and 33 patients admitted to, to exercise. And they found a trend toward less severe acute rectal toxicity in the exercise group and a statistically significant difference in mean toxicity scores. There was no significant difference in bladder toxicity. So they concluded that keeping active and being asked to adhere to a well-defined exercise schedule appears to reduce the severity of rectal, rectal toxicity during radiotherapy to the prostate. In this other study, they uh, randomized patients to usual care, resistant activity, or aerobic exercise. Uh, both resistance and aerobic exercise, they both mitigated fatigue. Resistant exercise also produced longer-term improvements, and resistance training improved quality of life, aerobic fitness, upper and lower body strength, and triglycerides with uh, while preventing an increase in body fat. Aerobic training also improved uh, uh, fit fitness. Regarding um, androgen deprivation, in this study they show that exercise reduces fatigue, elevates mood, builds muscle mass, reduces body fat, and may prevent osteoporosis. In this other study, significant uh, in uh, Androgen deprivation, there's a, a significant increase in physical activity supported by changes in girth measures of blood pressure support the beneficial impact of the intervention. There are positive trends were also evident for depression and fatigue. Physical activity effectively attenuates many of the side effects of androgen deprivation. In this literature review, 10 eligible study included randomized controlled studies as well as uncontrolled trials. They uh, concluded that among patients with prostate cancer treated with androgen deprivation therapy, appropriately prescribed exercise is safe and may ameliorate a range of treatment induced ad ad adverse events. Regarding improve, uh, the possibility of improving survival, which is at the end what we are more worried, in this study with 4,600 patients uh, followed for 12 years, you can see here that in all kinds of activity, in all there was a overall survival benefit uh, with people who performed some kind of exercise compared to those who didn't. And here, all these show uh, cancer-specific survival. So they conclude that higher levels of physical activity were associated with the reduced rates for overall and prostate cancer specificity. This, this is uh, household work, and this is bicycling and, and doing more uh, um, intense exercise. Here is another study in, in health professionals in 2,705 men, and here you can see clearly in men with prostate cancer, physical activity was associated with lower overall mortality and, and, and uh, cancer-specific mortality. And a modest amount of vigorous activity such as biking, tennis, jogging, or swimming for three hours a week may substantially improve specific survival. This, this is another study that uh, uh, arrives to the same conclusion. But the interesting thing about this study is that this is before and the patients who change their, their style of life, they also improve. It doesn't matter they, they didn't do it before. Mechanism of action, there's, we could need another lecture only about that because there is not enough evidence of what's going on and why does this happen. How much is enough? Nobody knows. There is no agreement either of evaluation or recommendation. Most people talk about 30 to 45 minutes moderate exercise. And there's a very easy way to find out how, how much exercise people do, how many days a week, and how long does it take. And you multiply that, and that's uh, how you find. So this is an example. 33 years of nine marathons, 40 half marathons, 20 10 case a year, 33 Olympic triathlons, and 20 international prostate cancer update skiing, uh, 25, uh, then at 66, PSA 0 0.96. Here is me with David after the Boston Marathon, the only one that I run, and this is a consequence. Uh, I don't have cancer, but I have a, 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 a bone. A, a, uh, a replacement. 
So, in conclusion, exercise useful for prostate cancer prevention, prevention of other cancers, prevention of cardiovascular diseases, osteoporosis prevention, better tolerance of treatment and treatment side effects, improves overall and cancer-specific survival, better quality of life, but the main and the most importantly is fun. Thank you.